Hi everybody, Finton here from Dans, and this week I want to talk about seven new features that Google recently announced around Google Chat and Spaces. I think these features are quite interesting and they're going to improve how customers work, particularly around hybrid working. So, you know what to do. Stay tuned. Okay, so the first feature is inline threading. And in a Google space or rooms as they used to be, used to be called, a group chat basically, uh, will allow a user to respond to a specific comment and end up with a little pop out window or chat so that the, a sort of a side conversation can happen. And often what happens with, with uh, non-threaded chats within Google Chat is it's difficult to know what people are responding to. We often sort of joke in, in, in the team that, you know, if you don't get onto the conversation quick enough and it's moved on, then people won't know what you're talking about if you're commenting about something from 10 or 15 minutes ago. Uh, people may be familiar familiar with this sort of look or feel within Slack where you can have this inline threading. So Google is now rolling this out uh, for Google Chat and Spaces as well. So we're excited to see that feature uh, roll out hopefully soon. The next one is the ability for a uh, employee or a team member to join a Google Space via the link. So imagine in a large company with hundreds or thousands or even tens of thousands of employees, having to add everybody to a Google chat, uh, either via groups or individually, can be very time consuming for administrators. Also, maybe companies want to make it as part of the onboarding, that they have a link um, as, as, a, as a team members on board that they can automatically or join themselves uh, to a particular space on you know, various topics. So you could have a departmental one, you could have one about a particular topic, like maybe a social group, like a football club or something. And so this ability for people in a company to join via the link, is just gonna make it easier for companies and administrators um, to manage Google Spaces. Next, we have the in increase in sizes of spaces. So currently, uh, the number of, of people who can join it is limited. They're increasing it to 8,000. And by the end of the year, Google is guaranteeing they're gonna be able to increase it to 25,000 which is really going to help larger organizations um, to support their communities within their organization and be able to create things like announcement um, spaces for you know pushing out content on particular topics where before they maybe had to um, do this via email because they couldn't have everyone in the company in a single space. With more and more um, companies using uh, Google Chat and Spaces and increased sizes of teams, it's really important to be able to search and find information. So Google are going to be improving uh, the search uh, within chat and spaces to surface information more easily. Uh, if you've used the, the, what Google are calling the chips, um, where you can kind of at somebody or um, look for like maybe a document or an attachment, you'll be familiar with this within Gmail, where you can sort of click on PDF or you know a person's email and that's the little sort of chip for them and it will show you then only the emails from that person that are PDFs. You can imagine something similar um, coming to Google Chat as well. Again, just making it easier to find information and surface information. Next up, we have moderation controls. And there's probably three updates here that I'm gonna to lump together all under this sort of content moderation piece. We've content moderation, we've managers, and we also have spaces guidelines. So with the guidelines, for example, you will be able, a company or a manager will be able to set a set of guidelines for a particular space so that when someone joins this space, they know what the rules um, of engagement are, so to speak. With managers, you will be able to set a, a group of managers or a set of managers for a space. Again, as the spaces grow um, and organizations have lots of people in a space, there may be a requirement to have more than one person managing that space and administering it. The content moderation, although we don't know what this is gonna look like, again, we can kind of imagine that maybe uh, a manager may be able to moderate content, so allow um, uh, content or disallow content, delete content, um, or market maybe for moderation. And again, this is the type of feature that larger organizations need when you've got lots and lots of people um, from a, maybe even across uh, a country or across the world in a community or group above a certain size. You just need these type of administration manager and content moderation controls. So I hope you guys are uh, like us, interested and excited in those seven features for 
Google Chat and Spaces. We're excited to see some of these rolling out um, this year, hopefully some of them sooner rather than later. If you guys are not, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, if you are on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram, you can follow us on there. And as always, please engage in um, comments and, and chat. We'd love to hear from um, our viewers and our customers. And I will see you guys next week. Bye. Boom.